Hey guys, this is Emerald, my hand's macaw, and actually you might hear Ursulus and Henry there. Henry's on the left. Henry's a mealy Amazon. Ursulus is a Mexican redheaded. Um, and Emerald, of course, is a hand's macaw. Oh, pretty wings. Look at those pretty wings. I think she's starting to feel a little better, but Emerald was not feeling well, and I was really worried that it was PDD. PDD is a terrible disease for parrots. It stands for proventriculous dilation disease. It used to be called macaw wasting disease, and now I can't say it right, but it, nowadays they call it pro. Oh, I can't. Gangalus. I can't say it. One problem with PDD is that it is a virus, and so it has several strains. Because it has se several strains, it affects different birds in different ways. And what's really hard and difficult is that as a virus, ultimately, there isn't a cure. So, unfortunately, it's getting really loud out here. Um, PDD used to be more common and I think it kind of probably wiped out a lot of birds because then it sort of went away. My vet was hoping that it was kind of gone, but it's been making a comeback and um, it's just it's just a really hard disease. For PDD, you can test for bonavirus, but the problem is you get false negatives. So all of my experts are like, just don't even bother testing. And that means that there's not really anything you can do. Um, there's it, keeping good husbandry, like keeping things nice and clean can help. But PDD, um, you know, I feel like they know how it's spread, but they're not really sure. Like there's always, you know, some doubt. They don't think it's airborne, but maybe it is. Like, you know, the problem is it has been a very elusive um, virus and very problematic. For example, I love cake parrots, but even in the wild in Africa, which is where cake parrots are from, they are vulnerable to PDD. It is something that they have a problem with. So it's just a really difficult and nasty virus. Um, I took Emerald to the vet yesterday because she wasn't doing well and she obviously wasn't feeling well. This is actually somewhat improved and um, I was so thrilled to find out that she has E. coli. E. coli is a bacterial infection and it doesn't mean that she does or doesn't have PDD, but generally speaking, you know, at least right now, the E. coli is something that we're medicating for and hopefully she'll feel better kind of thing. She got her first dose of medicine. It's in her drinking water. And Emerald's already been, as you could probably hear, a little louder and a little more active. So I'm really thrilled about that. I'm hoping that that's all that it is and <laughs> that this peppy little girl starts to do better. Um, I'm, I'm really happy she's vocal because you know, when, when a parrot doesn't feel good, they, they get quieter. So the fact that she's feeling vocal kind of tells me that she's feeling better. But um, and the fact that she's snuggling quite like this, there's sort of like normal snuggling. And then there's, I don't feel good and make me feel better snuggling. And there is a little bit of that going on, isn't there, Emerald? One problem is I've had to put her in a hospital cage which means a separate cage so that she doesn't spread whatever it is that she has and um, she's been so tired that she has actually been happy to be in the hospital cage but now she's starting to get a little more active again so I think part of it is also she's just happy to be out of the hospital cage which also means she's feeling better how can you prevent E. coli um, because E. coli is a bacteria that your vet can treat your parrot for. However, E. coli um, left untreated, it can get a parrot sicker and sicker and sicker until they die. 
So it's really important to take care of, really have good husbandry and take care of doing things like keeping things as clean as you can. One problem with E. coli is that it's like in the environment. That means that, um, you know, when I ask like, well, how did she get this? Because my daughter's like, how did she get this? Uh, because we boil the water that our parents drink, we boil it, we let it sit and get to room temperature to try to avoid things like E. coli. So that my water's like hopefully really clean for my parents. And I was told at the vet's office, you know, the problem is you boil the water, but if you rinse the veggies, like with the tap water, it could be there. So unfortunately, when it's something environmental and something like E. coli, part of it sort of just is out there and it makes it kind of hard. Um, I do give my parrots a probiotic to try to keep them as healthy as possible. And Emerald's good flora was good. And that's really fabulous. That's just like, I'm really thrilled. I'm sure she'll lose it with the medicine and we'll have to start over, but that's okay. Um, good flora is of course, because in case you're not familiar, like humans, parrots need to have good bacteria in their body. It helps them stay healthy. It helps them digest their food. So they need good flora in their intestine. And my Amazons are being loud. Is there like a bird flying by or something? So um, the good flora meant that Emerald does get good flora every day. So we're taking good care of her and I'm really happy about that. So I'm hoping for a really speedy recovery. So this means that, you know, you want to make sure that you practice good husbandry. You do want to make sure that your parrot's water is clean because that's the number one way that they can get sick. And maybe you want to use vinegar water or something like that to clean your vegetables to make sure that you don't get E. coli in your flock and spread it around, that kind of thing. It's just, it's common. I've had my parrots have E. coli before. Thank goodness it is treatable. Um, so it's just something to be aware of. I don't think it's something you need to freak out about, but it's something that you certainly want to make sure to get diagnosed and get them medicated for as quickly as possible. I hope that helps. Uh, I think I forgot to tell you that I'm Kaylin, the author of The Parrot Bliss Bond and my new book, Get to Know, um, sorry, well, that's another one, Get to Know African Grey and pa Cape Parrots. Plus my new book is 30 Perfect Apartment Parrots. Check them out on Amazon under KB Raphael. I have the links below. I love my parrots. I work very hard to try to keep my parrots healthy and happy. And so if you do that too, if you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, I love talking to my experts. I love researching. I love writing my books on parrots. So I'm always happy to help. I hope you can hear me good. I came outside because usually it's easier to hear me. So I'll wrap up. I will catch you in the next. Wow.